Hey you guys, I'm back. <laughs> I know it's been a while. For those who are new to my channel, my name is Gerby Norellis. You can follow me on Facebook, Gerby Norellis. And you can follow me on Instagram, G Norellis. It's been a long, long time since I've been back on YouTube. Okay, let's get started with everything that I've been going through for the past couple of months. I would say it's been over three to four months since I've done a video. Well, some of the things I've been going through, I started a new business. And also, of course, I do hair professionally on the side. So, I'm running a t-shirt business. Um, I have a business that's called Gerby's Creations. In Gerby's Creations, I make t-shirts. I make welcome signs. I make welcome mats. I make so many things that are custom for anybody like <laughs> it's, it's literally overwhelming plus my family we we're gonna go on vacation so I've been hustling and grinding to make the money so when we go on vacation we can enjoy our vacation we ended up going to Orlando Florida last week and we had a fun time and it was just you know a time to get everything out of my head and relax you know I really needed this because between stressing of making money and running this business and starting it up and also doing hair and um, also you know last month was graduation season so every well in in the south in Georgia everybody graduates in May so I've been doing hair like non-stop people wanted to get their hair done for prom for graduation it's just I've never had time to sit down plus I went through a little funk you know not being able to like going through my TTC journey not being able to conceive kind of went in a little funk where I just did not want to record I just wanted to keep private I'm already an introvert I don't like being around people so I just didn't feel at that time I was mentally in the space and able to share with people but I'm back and I'm gonna come back in full force with more content I'm gonna promise myself to film at least two to three times a week you know do little different things I'll show some of the parts of my business like making the t-shirts making the welcome signs doing hair show you guys the different things that's going on in my life plus my son now he's pressuring me he wants to make a youtube channel my husband he wants to start his podcast on talking about business entrepreneurship and stuff like that so yeah um besides that i've been doing good mentally now i'm better after coming from vacation i was able to relax spend some time with my son he finally oh god he finished virtual school third grade virtual school it was a long year the stress of being with an eight-year-old at home you know he went through a little depression himself but after the you know the end of the couple of months he got his mojo bag he started waking up early doing his work early and you know just getting used to finally being virtual school we're undecided about next year i kind of want to let him go back to the school system like go back to the actual school instead of doing virtual because the headache and trying to struggle and help him like this new math is different like everything's different and now I gotta deal with fourth grade math and science and English I don't know if I can handle this so like I really want to put him back you know in regular school my husband wants to keep him in virtual and I'm like you're not the one that has to deal with him because <laughs> he doesn't go to daddy he goes to Bobby for every question but yeah, we'll see what ends up happening. But he enjoyed his vacation. You know, that little vacation that we took. He's still on vacation now. They don't go back to school till like the beginning of August, end of July. So we still got some stuff to do with him. And if I do anything, I'll vlog it. I am going to vlog and post the video of my vacation. That's going to be another video. Plus, I'm going to do a haul on um, DHgate. I bought a lot of items from DHgate before I went you know on vacation because you know I wanted to look fly but on a budget because <laughs> I still got bills to pay so I can't just go and buy $300 Chanel shoes and stuff like that so I bought a couple of things from DHG so I'm gonna post a video of all the things I bought and you know how much I bought it for and some advice yeah and also you know I've been cooking I got like literally I lost 25 pounds I went on a cleansing diet like I told y'all I was gonna do I did a month of juicing just cleaning myself eating just juicing 
With that, I lost about 15 pounds. Then I lost some more pounds. I slowly went into like eating salads and you know fruit and stuff like going back to solids. And then it just like boom. I started eating again. <laughs> Like, I'm a foodie. I like to eat. Like, I've always been a tiny girl when I was younger. But it's like, ah, I've been so stressed with doing everything else. Like, doing hair and making money and running this business that I literally barely have time to cook. So, it's like, we've been buying food outside. Buying food outside. Sometimes I run into the grocery store and grab a salad. But come on now, how are you going to be fulfilled after standing on your feet from doing box braids for like eight hours going back to back with clients? <laughs> How's the salad going to fulfill you? So I was good for like a good two months. I lost 30 pounds in total and then it's like boom, it came right back. I started at 245 and I finished like around, I was like 215. <laughs> I just did it. It is. I'm ashamed, but I'm going to get back on the bandwagon. I promised myself I'm going to go back and I'm going to lose 50 pounds by my birthday. My birthday is September 25th, so I'm going to lose this 50 pounds. Um, Yeah. And um, as for the TTC journey, I put that on halt. Mentally, I don't think I'm ready for a baby. Like, the, the process, you know? Besides losing the weight to have this child, I want to mentally prepare. I thought I was ready, but it's like you go through the challenge of constantly hoping that that month is your month and then it all goes downhill and then you find out you're not pregnant and it's just like a constant thing. And I feel like women who do it like for like a year, you need to take a break, like relax. And that's what I had to do because I was literally like every month when my period came crying like a crazy person like as you can see from my last video I was crying and I was just like I'm done doing this I'm not doing this no more so I decided I said after I lose the 50 pounds I'm gonna see around Christmas time start all over again once I make sure that I'm in the right mental space to do everything again you know everything's been good my family's good my husband's good. He's been loving up on me. Been getting on my nerves too because we've been in the house together and we're running this business together. If you're going to start a business with your spouse, also make sure that you guys are tight because some days you're going to want to leave each other. <laughs> but we're still here. Um, this July is actually going to make us 10 years married. Yeah, it's going to be our 10 year anniversary. Let's see what he going to get me. <laughs> but yeah, um... Sunday is Father's Day, so, you know, I'm going to call my dad, <laughs> say Happy Father's Day. Call my uncle who raised me as my father and say Happy Father's Day. So, yeah, and that's what's been going on so far. Again, I apologize for not posting anything. It's been a while. I feel ashamed. I feel wrong for trying to come back. Like, where you been, girl? <laughs> I've been here. i just been busy doing things. Uh, but yeah, I'm back and I, like I said, I'm going to post at least two to three times a week and I'm not going to stop. I'm going to show you guys how to make empanadas. I'm going to show you how to make a welcome sign. I'm going to show you how to do hair. I'm going to show you, I'm going to talk about different things, different subjects, stuff that's going on in the world, you know. Did you get, you know, your vaccinations? I haven't personally yet. It's not a personal thing. I just want to give it some time. You know, I'm waiting for everybody to go through whatever they go through. Then, you know, I'm going to decide what's best for me and my family. You know, we're not against it because other people and members in our family have gotten it. You know, because you got to protect, you know, especially if you have children, you got to protect your family. But I'm just trying to see what's going on. And then if after a year everything's great, I might get the vaccination too. And my hubby. And my son, you know, if they give it to kids under the age of 12. Because for right now, it's from 12 and older that they can get the vaccine. But I'm just hoping that the world goes back to normal. I can't wait to be able to go outside without a mask. The CDC is saying, yes, you can go out without a mask if you're fully vaccinated, which is great. And, you know, hopefully, you know, after everything goes, sees how everything go out this year, 
I can start going out without a mask too. I just want the world to go back to normal, you know, it's just like being able to see families, hang out. You know, I finally was able to be with my family a couple of weeks ago for my niece's birthday party. I didn't get to go to the birthday party because I didn't feel well that day, but I was able to help and prepare for the birthday party. Again, thank you for being in my channel. If you like the video, click the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. I can't wait to be and show you guys more videos, you know. Bye.